What do you do off the field to prepare for a game? Um, every Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 1 we watch film um, with Coach Delgado and um, obviously in, the, in our free time back at the dorm and on Friday nights we watch film, um, get a lot of film into a uh, study the other team, get prepared, and um, just study the playbook. Um, always look over the new plays and formations and be prepared for Saturdays. Uh, we watch film a lot. Um, we go over the new plays. Coach Dugan always quizzes us over what we do on certain plays in certain situations, just so that we're prepared every time it comes to it. How are your practices different because it's a hybrid position? Uh, we have to emphasize a lot on um, blocking in the O-line. We have to know a lot of the um, offensive schemes, not just like what route to run or um, where we're going on the play. We have to know where the whole play is going because we need to know the line and all the receivers and what they're doing. Uh, Coach Rogato knows that with tight ends comes a lot of blocking, so we do a lot of hitting drills. We're always hitting heads. And um, he also sends us out on uh, routes as well. What is your role as a leader on the team? Um, since we're a hybrid position, we kind of know we're like that bridge between receivers and um, the line, so we can we kind of act as like a, like a, like I said like a bridge between the two. And um, so if the receivers need to know like what's going on in the run play, we can fill them in. Or if like the line needs to know what kind of play it is, and we can fill them in too. Um, for me personally, uh, I'm, I just lead by example. And if someone needs help, say on the other line, they ask me what the play is because they don't know the signals, I can tell them what it is, and uh, with the receivers, if they need help with the routes, I also know like what the in inside of the guys, what, the, what their routes are, so I can help them out with that too. How do you feel about being 3-2 and two at this point in the 2017 season? Um, I think it's a good start to start off, a good spot to start off the uh, second half of the year. Um, we've, done, we've won some games in a row, two weeks in a row now, so um, we're picking up steam going into the second half of the year, and I think we're going to make a nice run for the playoffs. Um, we're excited and uh, can't wait to try and win out the rest of the season and hopefully we make the playoffs. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. How do you prepare your players for Saturday games? On Saturday, our preparation starts on a fun day when we look at the film from the previous game and we go over the and our next opponent. But uh, throughout the week, you know, we're constantly studying ourselves and them, look at the film, what we can work on best, and uh, just, you know, getting ready by uh, making sure they're prepared during practice. And what do you look for in a BW tight end? I look for overall a difference maker, playmaker, a guy who's uh, willing to uh, do whatever it takes, have that tenacity, you know, the overall animal in him, a guy that's very coachable, and also uh, just a good football IQ. Has anyone specific been standing out at practice? Oh, uh, definitely, yeah. I'd say the two guys that stand out are uh, Brian Baranowski and uh, Patrick Orsini. They're very good players, uh, coachable. They're two different on two different spectrums right now. Uh, Baranowski's an excellent blocker. He's the type of guy that will put his head in things and drive a guy back. Uh, Patrick Orsini, he's more of that finesse guy, uh, possession tight end, where he catch the ball and uh, make some yards and uh, make guys miss.